Quasimodo, the famous bell ringer. He's got the hunchback, and he's the guy who lived in the bell tower. Well, we're going to be thinking about this story, and we're going to be drawing that very famous church, the Church Cathedral of Notre Dame. And actually, Notre Dame is right near the center point of Paris, right outside the doors. If you go outside the doors like a 100 feet, you're going to hit point zero, which is the, uh, the center point in Paris. So our cathedral, uh, we have to hold our paper horizontally because that's our window plane, but the cathedral is very vertical. So we're going to be drawing the cathedral down the center of our page, but it's very tall. So we're going to do a tall, narrow building, and we're going to try uh, and get as much in as we can of this building and as much detail. Of course, we would never be able to draw all of the detail because there's so much carvings and statues placed all over it, but we're going to do our very best. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the center of our page because we want to make sure we get this in, and we're going to start with a small circle. So measure down, just eyeball, top, bottom, and find the center, put your finger, and then go side, side, and put your finger, and draw a small circle. As small as you can make it, and we're using uh, black pens today, or black uh, sharpies, or some kind of black permanent marker. And then around that, we're going to make another ring, another circle, very small. And this is going to become our rose window, which is the center of the cathedral. And from here, now this is like in a flower shape, so it's got these petals coming out. So if you want to just make up and down, up and back, up and back, up and back, going around the center here. And that's just to illustrate the rose window. Let me show you real close what I did. I basically drew a really small flower in the center of that window. So if we plan this, if this is the window, then we need enough room for a band of architectural detail here, the tower, and then we have our entry doors, and there's three main entry doors here. Um, from the center of this, we're going to draw a ring around this. Real close again, we're going to double line this. And then you can do another row of petals here. This is the, one of the grandest rose windows in Europe. And a rose window is made up of a stained glass, little sections of glass, and actually each section in here is a painted story. So there's actually people in on the windows, and it's made up of little pieces of glass, and then they hand paint in on the top of the glass the, the facial features. But it's all little bits of glass put together. And if you want to do very closely now a real tight, narrow ring around this rose window here, we're adding more architectural detail. And then I'm going to divide, I'm going to put a, I'm going to block this out. I'm going to put a, a horizontal line at the bottom and a horizontal line at the top. And I'm going to block it into a square. Next to this, we're going to do a column. So it's going to be a rectangle, just a small rectangle, a rectangle on this side, a narrow rectangle. And right now, we're going to block out most of the detail in the shape of the building first. So from here, I'm going to build down. It's, there's a frieze, which is a row of people right in here. And we'll go back to this in a minute but I'm going to block down a long rectangle and then on the center of that I'm going to put drop down and put a dot and a frieze is an architectural band that grows across the buildings and sometimes it goes on tops of buildings and in this case it's going down toward the middle of the building now I'm going to form this very large wide um, arch Let's drop this down to block it out. Block it into a rectangle right here. Okay? And then we're going to make our arched entry. I'm going to curve, curve, and drop down straight. Drop down straight.
Okay. Now I'm going to block this. I'm going to continue a column up, over, down. Now look, I have enough room here. You want a little bit of room here. Up, over, down is about three fingers from the top. If, you're, if you have a different amount of fingers from the top, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Now, I'm going to do the same coming over. I'm going to continue over. I'm going to add my freeze, the design. This will be a design here. Over. And then I'm going to drop down and over with a rectangle. And I'm going to do the same on this side over, over, down. Then I'm going to add the freeze and I'm going to build this into a column right here. There's going to be a column here, so a long rectangle here, a long ma matching here, and then block it into a square here, straight line across. So I have some squares. There's a rectangle. Now we're going to build up here. Above this, I'm going to do a straight line across. I'm going to add a rectangle, straight line across, a rectangle. You can go straight across and meet right down. And then Notre Dame has these two narrow towers which are the bell towers right here. So then I'm gonna come in just a little bit. Now I want to top it off here. I'm gonna top off my tower just a little bit from the edge and I'm coming down narrow here. So basically a square here. Okay and that's the top bell towers. In the design of the bell tower, if you put two horizontal lines, one, two, you could do the same on this side, and then you're going to go curve it up very narrow and back, up very narrow and back, up very narrow, up, down, very narrow, two narrow uh, arched windows here. Now in the building there's lots of detail at the top here. There's little friezes. There's little friezes coming across. If you look at the... I, I could spend hours looking at this building when I was there. Um, it's got little gargoyles off the sides here which are creatures. A lot of them look like dragons or demons. Um, very grotesque monstrous creatures and this is where the rain comes off the roofs and it comes out. It, it spits the water off so it doesn't drip down the building. It's part of their gutter systems. But amazing structures all in here. Amazing carvings. Um, so if you want to stick a few of those on. And you can add many details once we finish this on your own. Okay, then from here we're going to drop down and start adding. Now that we've got the basic structure done, let's start with the entrance doors. So find down here. I want... We're going to put two horizontal lines, one, and it's right past this curve, two. These are the entrance doors. So it's a curved, gothic entrance. And then the doors are these really thick, huge wooden doors here, the entrance door. And then, and these are actually, this, this is the center portal to get into the building. But actually, when you go visit, these doors were actually closed. Put another dot on this side. These are the smaller portal entrances. And a dot on this side. And we're going to curve down again. Keep it curved and go straight down for the entrance. And then add your doors here, the wooden doors. Now, when you go, these doors are huge. Um, if you're a person, look how small you would be if you're a person going in this door. I'll sh just to show you. You're about this tall. You don't have to draw the person, but I just want you to see. Look, there, that would be a person going into Notre Dame. Look at how big the door is compared. If you look at your classroom doors or your home doors, 
you're almost as tall. Well, there's a few feet above you probably from your door. But this, look at this. These are huge, the entrance doors. Very grand. Go ahead and do this area. Right over here in this door, this is the door I came out of when I went to visit. And right in the corner here was a gift shop inside the church. Now, this is the whole row of, of carved statues right in here. And these carved statues are of people. So look, if you want to do this to make a bunch of heads, and then just drop it down to show this is rows of people. And these are people from the Bible. So we go ahead and stick quick, just, just fast things. Now, you could go ahead and do this on your own later. You really want to add real detail. Sometimes they have robes on. You can add the arms. But I'm just going to quickly do just circles to say this is a head of the statue and then bring it down. This is very interesting. If you look it up in history, some of these actually were stolen and then put back and different things happened to different thing, parts of this. Okay, so from here... So we have our three entrance portals, we have our frieze, then we're going to do some arches. This is a giant. If you start off with a circle here, this is a smaller rose window and a smaller rose window. And then around the rose window is an arch. Arch, arch. And if you want to put detail here, this is little squares. You could put little squares in here. These are columns on the side. And then this one has like a triangle. So divide this in half. Go up, down with some triangles. And in the back, which we are not going to be able to see, but the back has a, some center tower, a center tower, which you can't see from this view. And it's got little steeples. If you want to put a narrow, a tiny steeple here, a little roof, then there's some steeples way in the back. You can put a little pointed roof. And then this has arched narrow openings right in here. So we can arch up, back, up, back, up, back. And the real one has many of them. We're not going to put lots in. If you do two or if you do three or four, you're good. As many as it fits. Just so we have a likeness of the church. And this was a great cathedral. It's one of the very one of the very famous ones in Europe. Like I said, that's where the hunchback of Notre Dame's story comes from. There's some carvings down here, too, if you want to do like a rectangle, statues and carvings here. And you can turn this into another rose window. If you want to do a like spikes or flower, or just lines coming out, radiating out from the center point. I just did a dot and radiated out. And then inside this arch is two curves and these are windows as well and these windows actually were destroyed in history so they've replaced them with like a gla plain glass during one of the wars they um, they were shattered and so they're plain right now not fancy <coughs> When you go into Notre Dame, it's very dark. I was surprised at how dark it was going inside. The walls were really dark. And it wasn't lit up very bright. Just a lot of natural light coming in. And the doors, these doors, like I said, are giant wooden doors. If you, so if you want to color them in uh, wood color. And then there's all kinds of carvings carvings and details in here too. If you want to double line this, this is just adding more detail right in here. Okay. And that's our church building.